Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over cropping stuff. And there is a basic way to crop, and then there's a tool for cropping. So let's uh, start getting into this. The first way that you can crop is by creating a selection. So pick any of your selection tools. I'm just going to use the rectangular marquee tool because it's the easiest and you can do this with any of your other selection tools just make a selection I'm just gonna select this uh, lifeguard house here and I'm going to go to um, image and there is a section here called crop click that and then your image is quickly cropped you don't have to mess with a bunch of stuff so that's how you um, quickly and basically crop things now you can go in with your other selection tools and make some like nice looking crops like this one Oh man, this is going to be awesome. And then image crop, and then it's basically just going to crop a square out for you along the farthest edges out of your uh, selection. So I just want to make that clear to you that you just can't like crop like cr crazy looking things. It's squares or rectangles basically. So just letting you know that. So let's go to layer, let's go to select, deselect, we don't have anything there anymore. And we're going to come down here to the crop tool. Click on it, and we get a bunch. And you can you can see that in the corners we have our crop selection area. So if we drag this, and then we can drag this down some more. We have our area here that we are going to crop, and it's within this uh, grid-like area. This is what's going to stay in the crop. So if I hit enter it's going to crop that area and uh, that's pretty easy Oops, I just went back I'm gonna deselect because somehow I went way too far back but I'm on my crop tool again and the crop tool has a bunch of different um, options that we can use to pretty much refine what we're doing so right now our cropping area is set to unconstrained as we can see up here in the top so it's unconstrained right now now if I open up this menu we have a bunch of different settings we got presets and then we can create a preset so if we go to um, original ratio and then we type in whatever we want 15 by 15 so we get a ratio of a crop that we can um, basically move the picture around into and crop out what we needed to. And remember, press enter to initiate the crop. Well, this is on one-to-one -one square. So if I put it on one-to-one -one square and I change this to like three and six or whatever, then you get that. So custom here at the top this will come up when you just start typing your own numbers you can make any kind of custom size you want so let's go to, back to unconstrained real quick now new in CS6 we can um, rotate our crops in our crop area so um, up here there is this rotate button click on it and now we're able to rotate our crop selection it basically rotates the picture not like really the crop but it we can still get a rotated crop so if I hit enter now this is what it's going to look like and make sure that when you rotate and you crop that you don't have a bunch of um, nothingness in your crop I mean that wouldn't look too hot unless that's your plan and you wanted to put something there like maybe like the guy from Mortal Kombat saying toasty or something like that so let's get back to this now we've got a couple other buttons up here the uh, straighten button you can click on that and then draw a line to see how how you want this straightened so I drew the line and then it's like this so if I click on it again and draw the line if I hold if you hold shift it doesn't do anything this time so you want to go by the angle that you have on the screen so this just straightened it out a little more so let's control Z to go back and undo undo it's just gonna go back and forth so 
because sometimes it does that. So let's get out of this crop. Can't crop the image. So what I did is I clicked on like the move tool. I'm going to hit don't crop and it's going to bring it back to what it was normally. Now we have a bunch of different views for our crop. So when I start cropping, I'm on the crop tool right now, we got this grid here with uh, three in it. And this grid here is basically called the rule of thirds grid. And when you're taking uh, photography classes or design classes or anything like that, there is a uh, rule of thirds and basically you want to look at look that up. Actually, I'll type it up right now so you can see that I'm not making this up. Rule of thirds, and then photography. Just type in this in real quick, and then I'll bring this over. Now we've got the rule of thirds, and this is um, a principle in photography that shows you how to like organize you. Get out of here. How to organize your pictures and make them composed really nicely. So that's what that is. And now we've got the rule of thirds view on here. Let's go up to our view section up here. Now we've got a bunch of different types of views. Grid, diagonal, so if you want to line stuff up. So there's a bunch of different views here. Some of them I don't understand. This one's called golden spiral. Why would you use that? I'm not too sure yet, but I'll figure it out someday. So we've got auto show overlay. These ones can be separate, uh, clicked on separately. Always show the overlay is going to show like our different, um, different grid and everything like that. And then we got never to never show the grid. It's going to remember these um, for you. And then we've got two uh, cycle our overlays. We, we press uh, O. So that's kind of nice. Now for our different overlays here and our different views, we've got an options menu. If we click on the options menu, we get a couple more options that um, help out and make things easier for us. So let's go over those. Um, use classic mode. So in classic mode, um, you select that and you move and rotate the uh, the crop selection instead of the actual image. So if I use the classic mode and I can move this around like this and it doesn't move like the image. So I'm just moving around the crop instead of the image. So if I go back to not classic mode and I'm moving this around, I'm actually moving the image around this time instead of moving around the crop. So that's up to you. Not, not too much of a difference really unless like, I don't know, Actually, I'm not. I guess there isn't really too much of a difference. It's up to your preference. We've got the always center preview, so um, I would keep that checked. If I was you, it's up to you. If you have a huge image that you might not want to have auto center preview and uh, show cropped area, you can see um, what you're working with. If you have the show cropped area on, if not, so if I move it around like this. I mean, you can't really see it. So this will give you a good idea of what your image is going to look like if you have it off. But I like to have it on to see, so I can see everything else and see what I might want to get in there. The next set of settings here is enable crop shield. And if I just uncheck that, you'll see that this darker area around here turns off and you just see the crop there. Now, I mean, I feel like enable crop shield helps you see what you're actually going to crop. So I would suggest to keep that on. And then you have your color where you can change your color to a custom one if you want. So it could be red or it's up to you. Um, so right now I'm gonna put it to match canvas, which it kind of like does just makes like a gray that's a little more opaque. And then, or uh, transparent I guess. And then you can increase your opacity if you want. That's up to you. So auto adjust, you can have auto adjust on there also. So it, it basically, you don't have to do too much work. So those are the settings. Now it looks like, I feel like the crop tool has a bunch of stuff to it. Um, we've got delete cropped pixels also over here. And um, 
you pretty much want to do that so you don't have any like half pixels or anything like that on there. So keep the del delete cropped pixels on. Now we just got our uh, buttons over here that we can use for cropping. So this one's going to reset your crop. So if I click on that, it resets it back to the beginning. Now over here, I've got the uh, next button over here, 10. So this is the cancel button. So if you click on cancel, it gets off of everything that I did. And then if I go and click on the check mark here, it's just like pressing enter, it'll commit to the crop. So that's how you use the crop tool. Um, a decent amount of stuff to it because of these view options and everything like that. But the crop tool is used to cut out any extra information in your photo that you don't think is necessary or you don't want to have in there. So it helps focus on like the main aspect of the photo. Brings more attention to whatever you want to crop into and everything like that. So that's how you use the crop tool. Thanks for watching it. Um, subscribe for more tutorials. It's going to be awesome. Have a good one, everybody.